Hello, welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. We've come a long way since I first uploaded Genesis chapter 1, and it's always a pleasure to me to see how much we have evolved together. Please, always feel free to leave comments. I always try to respond to them. It was always my hope that we could build up a little community together that shared an interest in what the Bible actually had to say. So please don't be shy and let me know your thoughts. It's Leviticus 11 today and we are going to see where a lot of the traditions regarding food first appeared. So let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word they come to a better understanding with you. Amen. Leviticus Chapter 11 He always spoke to Moses and Torah saying to them Speak to the children of Israel saying these are the living things which you may eat among all the animals that are on the earth. Whatever parts the hoof is cloven and footed, and choose the cud among the animals that you may eat. Nevertheless, these you shall not eat. Of those that chew the cud, or of those who part the hoof, the camel, because he chews the cud, but does not have a parted hoof, he is unclean to you. The hyrax, because he chews the cud, doesn't have a part of hoof, he is unclean to you. The hare, because she chews the cud, but doesn't part the hoof, she is unclean to you. The pig, because he has a split hoof and is cloven footed, but doesn't chew the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their meat you shall not eat, and their carcasses you shall not touch, they are unclean to you. These you may eat of all that are in the waters, whatever has fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers, that you may eat. All that don't have fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of all the living creatures that are in the waters, they are an abomination to you, and you detest them. You shall not eat of their meat, and you shall detest their carcasses. Whatever has no fins nor scales in the waters, that is an abomination to you. These you shall detest among the birds. They shall not be eaten, they are an abomination. The eagle, and the vulture, and the black vulture, and the red kite, and any kind of black kite, any kind of raven, the horned owl, the screech owl, and the gull, any kind of hawk, the little owl, the cormorant, the great owl, the white owl, the desert owl, the osprey, the stork, any kind of heron, the hoopoe, and the bat. All flying insects that walk on all fours are an abomination to you. Yet you may eat of these, of all winged creeping things that go on all fours, which have legs above their feet, with which to hop on the earth. Even of these you may eat, any kind of locust, any kind of catydid, any kind of cricket, and any kind of grasshopper. For all winged creeping winged things, which have four feet, are an abomination to you. By these you will become unclean. Whoever touches their carcasses shall be unclean until the evening. Whoever carries any part of their carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. Every animal which parts the hoof and is not cloven footed, nor chews the cud, is unclean to you. Everyone who touches them shall be unclean. Whatever goes on its paws, among all the animals that go on all fours, they are unclean to you. Whoever touches the uh, carcass shall be unclean until the evening. He who carries their carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. They are unclean to you. These are they which are unclean to you among the creeping things that creep on the earth. The weasel, the rat, any kind of great lizard, the gecko, and the monitor lizard, the war lizard, the skink and the chameleon. These are they which are unclean to you among all that creep. Whoever touches them when they are dead shall be unclean until the evening. And whatever any of them falls when they are dead, it shall be unclean. Whether it is any vessel of wood, or clothing, or skin, or sack, whatever vessel it is, with which any work is done, it must be put into water, and it shall be unclean until the evening and then it will be clean. Every earthen vessel 
into which any of them falls, all that is in it shall be unclean, and you shall break it. All food which may be eaten, that from which the water comes, shall be unclean, and all drink that may be drunk in every such vessel shall be unclean. Everything whereupon part of their carcass falls shall be unclean. Whether oven or range of pots, it shall be broken in pieces. They are unclean, and shall be unclean to you. Nevertheless, a spring or cistern in which water is covered shall be clean, but that which touches their carcass shall be unclean. If part of their carcass falls on any sown seed, which is to be sown, it is clean. But if water is put on the seed, and part of the carcass falls on it, it is unclean to you. If any animal of which you may eat dies, he who touches its carcass shall be unclean until the evening. He who eats of its carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. He also who carries its carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. Every creeping thing that creeps on the earth is an abomination. It shall not be eaten. Whatever goes on its belly, and whatever goes on all fours, whatever has many feet, even all creep things that creep on the earth, they you shall not eat, for they are an abomination. You shall not make yourselves abominable with any creeping thing that creeps. You shall not make yourselves unclean with them, that you should be defiled thereby. For I am Yahweh your God. Sanctify yourselves therefore, and be holy. For I am holy. You shall not defile yourselves with any kind of creeping thing that moves on the earth. For I am Yahweh, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt, for your God. You shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of the animal, and of the bird, and of every living creature that moves in the waters, and of every creature that creeps on the earth, to make a distinction between the unclean and the clean, and between the living thing that may be eaten, and the living thing that may not be eaten. (laughs) 